Everybody, today is a very, 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 very special day in the world of Genshin Impact and in the world of Fremination here for Fremenate. Uh, because today we've got Thelxie's... Thelxie's Adventures? Fantastic Adventures. It's it's Thelxie's Fantastic Adventures. And if you don't know who Thelxie is, you're going to find out. But I'll give you a little spoiler up here, up front here. Uh, Thelxie is a little penguin that uh, Fremenate has something to do with. So, uh, Pear who is Fremenay's penguin, is like a darker blue, and Thelxie is a light blue penguin. So, uh, happy pears giving everybody here, and thank you guys for watching on YouTube. We are so excited to jump into this event. It's finally a chance for people to get to know Fremenay, so uh, we're going to get right to it and figure out what is going on with Thelxie's fantastic adventures here one day you receive a commission from the fontaine fishing association in accordance with the commission's requirements you and paimon go to erin to investigate erinese and erinesses can't remember how that's pronounced the curtain rises on a wondrous new adventure <clears throat> So you got to be adventure rank 20. It's got three themes: the motherboard troubleshooting, we build and complete circuits, then uh, we record the search for glory, and then we go to purgation of Counter Strike. And we got to defeat enemies, water imps with the prince. There's Thelxie right there. <clears throat> a um, we're gonna get a furnishing. I don't know what that is. We're gonna get a furnishing and some other great gifts another crown and some primos So let's get this show on the road, huh? What do you guys say? Oh Before we do that, let's just claim that. There we go Water imps conjecture And you get a free fremenay How cool is that? Someone there waiting for us. Who could it be? Here we go. Hmm, that can't be right. Oh, but what if they're real after all? No, that can't be. <clears throat> but what if there's a chance? Oh. Greetings, miss. Is there something that's bothering you? Oh. No, it's nothing. I'm Della Roche, the Della representative Roche. of the Fontaine Fishing Association. How can I help you? We received your commission request. Oh, so you're adventurers. Oh, finally. Someone has heard my prayers. Paimon can tell you were really bothered by something. Don't worry, you've got two super experienced adventurers right here. We'll take care of anything and everything for you as long as you pay us a little bit of mora. It'd been cool if the oh, traveler was like, what? Exactly the helpers I need. See, the problem is that the fish Dude, around the fishing Ricardi, spot VFX. and Aeneas have just Bro. up and vanished. Oh no, recently. Lex Luthor again! Lex Luthor with the gifted subs! Hi, Pop! You guys are amazing! Lex Luthor! Dude! Thank you! Everybody here on YouTube, Lex Luthor gifting five subs to the peoples here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody is getting the love. Debbie Derryberry. She announced Sadine, Tubby, and this. So Della Rouche is Debbie Derryberry, who we interviewed on the Points of Experience podcast. Um, congrats to Cameo, Zionic, Dreaming, Shintoki, Mal, and everybody. Thank you, Lex Luthor. Um, subs here for everybody who's wondering in, in YouTube land. If you're a subscriber, you can do co-op adventures with us, and you are eligible to uh, win some well Blessing of the Welcome Moons. Um, we need a Fremenay versus Sino and TCG. Oh my gosh. Uh, gosh, you guys are amazing. Alright, let's get back to the show here, huh? They disappeared too quickly for it to have been the work of human anglers. As the representative of the Fishing Association, I had planned to go and investigate the area right away. But, but... <clears throat> right, but unfortunately, as the representative of the Fishing Association, there are a few other errands that I absolutely have to run, so... So, you'd like us to investigate the spot for you? Alright, sounds like we got a job to do here, huh? Exactly, you're right on the mora. So, I thought I could delegate this work to you. Are you two some kind of prophets, knowing exactly what I was going to say like that? Or maybe like the oracles you read about in fairy tales, 
No, we've already told you that we're adventurers. Yeah, we're just really experienced in this kind of thing, that's all. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. I'll get a good night's sleep knowing the two of you are on the case. Aye, aye! But we just need to investigate the missing fish? It really doesn't sound too difficult. No, you mustn't let your guard down. No, 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 As no, no. As the no. representative of the Fishing Association, I have good reason to believe that the fish have gone missing due to an encounter with the water imps. Water imps? Yes, you're both outlanders, Missing right? fish because of water imps. Our local fairy tales often speak of a terrifying underwater creature called Thelxie. Ah, that's the why it's called Thelxie. The story our parents would tell us was always the same. If we went to the water alone, then we'd be snatched away and eaten by a water imp called Thuxy. Oh, it's like Loch Ness Monster. Eating water imp? Did they tell you what it looked like? My father would always describe it as a beautiful, multicolored snake woman, while my mother said it had a handsome face. It's really strange, though. Snake woman with a handsome face. Because other people describe it as just a chubby penguin with a deceptive appearance. <laughs> Even though the tales vary regarding it's all coming its together. appearance, everyone agrees that it's really dangerous. It lives in an underwater cave surrounded by pallid bones and uses its sensitive nose to track down lonely children who've lost their way. Okay. And once it finds a child... <clears throat> It uses its alluring singing voice to the lure them into the water before swallowing them all. Pretty terrifying, isn't okay. it? Okay, yeah, that's actually uh, messed up. Sounds kind of scary. But isn't that pretty normal for a fairy tale? After all, those kinds of stories are usually made up to help keep children away from danger. Uh, historically, the Little Mermaid uh, story or fairy tale is actually extremely dark. So, <laughs> we're getting on brand here with uh, these type of insanely terrifying legends. But what if the fairy tale was inspired by a real-life tale? Just like how a water vein always has a source. Do you have any concrete evidence? Well, I wouldn't call it evidence, per se, but I've heard some rumors lately. They say that someone recently saw a child walk into the water as if he was possessed by something... Doesn't that sound just like he was responding to the call of a water imp? I mean... So you mean someone really got eaten by a water imp? It's all hearsay, so it's hard to confirm. But still, they all say this happened on Arrhenius. Arrhenius. It's no laughing matter if you ask me. Okay, Arrhenius. Both the Opera House and the Fountain of Lucene were built there, and the sources of many water veins can be traced to the island as well. Okay. Combine that with the <clears throat> mysterious mist, the huge tree with expansive underground roots, and the rumor that the bishops on the island can understand human language. Whoa. Is it really so shocking that an island so shrouded in mystery could harbor a terrifying water imp as well? I mean, uh, sounds like a stretch, but... I feel like you're pulling our leg. You're just piling on the rumors now. Still, if someone's really been hurt, then we can't just ignore the situation, right, Traveler? We'll go check it out. Oh, marvelous. Then I'll just mark marvelous. the water on your map. Don't forget that no matter what, safety always comes first. Safety first! It's a great rule to live by. Here we go. Thelxie's Fantastic Adventures Part 1, Water Imp's Conjecture. How far are we going to go, huh? Oh, we gotta traverse across the, the dang world here. All right. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Where, where's that? Where's that? Oh, can't get that yet. For another day. <laughs> For another day. Ooh, shiny, shiny. You know what we'll do? Because we're responsible individuals. We'll mark that there. British Fremine? Do we want to hear British Fremine? Is this the stretch of water okay. Deloroche was talking about? It looks really <laughs> peaceful. Huh? Look, there's some footprints <clears throat> over there. British Fremine? Here we go, guys. Make sure you're all listening, okay? Oh, it's me, a Fremine, and I want to spend some time at the bottom of the sea in peace. It's easy to fix a machine when you know how it's built and how it works. Yahoo! Waha! It's much more difficult. 
<laughs> oh, man. The footprints extend all the way into the water. Pretty fresh. <gasps> Did the water imp get someone again? Let's look around and see if we can find anything else. <laughs> Ooh, chest. Shiny. <gasps> Wait. Did you hear something just now? Oh gosh, gurgling noises can be heard coming from the water. The noise grows louder and louder until something emerges with a loud splash. Which Ah! <laughs> Paimon? Traveler? Fremine? Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot I was still wearing this. Helmet off. <laughs> Fremine versus Fremine. Fremine! Paimon, are you okay? Aw, oh, how thoughtful, Fremine. It was just you wearing your helmet. Just the helmet! Huh? A water imp? We're investigating a water imp called Thelxy. Thelxy, you say? How surprising. Huh? Ooh, sounds you know like he knows up piece. He knows something I about that. Someone else is trying to investigate the water imp. No. I think our situations are probably unrelated. Then could you tell us about what's going on with you? Sure, if that's in order. I know Orders. because of one of my employers. She noticed the clockwork penguins I brought to the workshop and contacted me through the shop's owner. She has commissioned me to make a special toy. A toy? Following her request, I've named the toy Thelxy. Huh? But isn't it a little creepy to name a toy after a water imp? Uh, wait, hold on! Take commissions from other people. How do you know that? Yeah, <clears throat> but, uh, she made a special request, but out of respect for her privacy, I can't really talk about it. All right, so is Fremine is selective right, on though, who he helps, huh? She'll be coming over to check on my progress shortly, and I'll just tell her that you're two of my trustworthy companions. Hearing that... She might be willing to share some information, and you'll be able to continue with your investigation. Huh. Even though you seem a little cold and reserved sometimes, hey. still really consider it. Our target isn't necessarily the water imp, though. We're primarily here to investigate the disappearance of the fish. The fish? The fish? What do you want to do? He nods slightly, seems lost in thought. You tell him about the commission from the fishing association. Suddenly, his breath catches in his throat. Oh! Ah, uh, I think I may have connected the dots. These past few weeks, I've been taking Thelxy for underwater testing every day. The pressure testing makes a lot of noise. <coughs> so, all that about the disappearing fish? Well, it was probably because of me. Fremene! Just Fremine preparing for another day of work. Yes, I think that's quite <coughs> likely as well. <coughs> Whew. So in the end, it was just Fremine. I don't spend all this time imagining what a water imp from the fairy tales might look like, and it all turns out to be just a... It's always an explanation. I'm sorry. It sounds like I've created a lot of trouble for everyone else as well. I'll try to finish this commission as soon as possible. Once I'm done, the fish should come back. Don't worry about it. It was just a misunderstanding. My god, I have a frog in my throat now. Thank <coughs> you. Actually, how much work do you still have left, Remine? Maybe we could lend you a hand. Uh, thanks for offering. But I can't trouble you any more than I already have. Hey, it's no trouble <coughs> at all. Couldn't you just call us your trustworthy <coughs> companions? Companions are all about helping each other, you know? But... don't you need to report back to your commissioner? Nope, that's not how it works. See, Paimon said his commissioner types all figured out, even though we were just tasked with finding out why the fish had gone missing. 
If we tell them now that it was all just a misunderstanding, you can bet they'd just immediately hand us another commission to help them get the fish back. Yeah, we're just really experienced in this kind of thing. That's all. Exactly! So if we can help you finish up your work and get the fish back, that would save us an extra trip! <sighs> um... Is that what you'd like to do as well? Yeah, I think Paimon's right. Huh. All right, I'll trust your judgment. Please follow me. I've made a makeshift camp over there. He's just like, all right, you, you guys want to help? That's on you. That's on you. <laughs> Framine, we're finally getting a Framine event. Ah. Oh, what's that? Penguin. That penguin, meet this penguin. I've stored Thelxy in the tent. He can respond to some simple verbal commands. You can try calling his name and see if he'll come over. Thelxy! Oh, sounds pretty advanced. Thelxy! Hey, Thelxy! Uh, are you there? Thelxy! Thelxy! Ooh. Development log. Attempted to install a language output module for Thelxy. The output signal was something. The benefits are twofold. Not only does the warehouse at the House of the Hearth already have many spare old motherboards, this approach will also make the language module compatible with the diving helmet transcription module, allowing for quick and easy transcription and testing. As for the offset, offset of the cipher, it was just be set to one. It will just be sent to one for convenience. Whoa. I've hit a snag. I've planned to apply for a transcription module to use for Thelxy. And it would have been the same one as the one used in the diving helmet, but the warehouse is out of stock. Seems like I'll have to make one from scratch using the one I have as a reference. I'll start looking into it, but it's unclear if I'll have enough time. Interesting. R2! So that's Fermanet's version of Thelxy. It's also penguin-shaped, just like Pear. It's huge! Yep. Had Thelxy lived in Penguin Town, he'd probably have become great friends with Pear. Penguin Town? Dude, what's Penguin Town? And where is it? Where is Penguin Town? Uh, it's not really anywhere famous or important. Don't worry about it. Oh, he's shy! Hey, Thelxy. Nice to meet you. Do you know how to say hello? So, can Thelxy talk? I wanted to install a language output module, but due to time constraints, I had to give up on the idea. As it stands, Thelxy can only output messages that were pre-written into its motherboard. I haven't given him the ability to convert those messages into discernible words, so... He can't really talk to us just yet. Okay. Uh, no need to get so technical. So basically, you want us to help you complete and install this language module, right? Uh, no, there's no need. That wasn't one of my employer's requests. It was just something I wanted to try. I have two other things I'd like your help with. The first is to do some integration testing on Thelxy's motherboard to make sure he will be able to function properly in most situations. That doesn't sound too hard. And what's the other thing? The other shouldn't take too long either. You'll need to find Thelxy some colorful shells and coral so I can craft a weapon for him. A weapon? A weapon? Will Thelxy have to fight? Mm-hmm. Thelxy will need to be able to charge forward with a weapon in hand. Like that brave prince of legend. It's a part of my employer's request. What a bizarre... What an imaginative request! <laughs> what a bizarre Thelxy request. Thelxy after a water imp, but wanting him to look like a prince? Well, regardless of his role or species, Thelxy's purpose is the same. Just like Pear... He has come to this world to serve as somebody's companion. Companion? Whoa, Thelxy just said something again! Could he understand what we were just talking about? He can react to certain key words, 
But unfortunately, due to the lack of a translation module, he still can't quite communicate with us. Oh, That's a pity. But anyway, the most important thing right now is for us to get to work. Maybe let's start by doing some testing on the... motherboard. That sounds like something we can do here in the camp. Okay. Sounds good. The motherboard is on my workbench, so please follow me. Ah, here we go. I have this testing manual, so feel free to reference it if you get stuck. Want to give it a try? It's okay if you don't succeed immediately. I've got a lot of backup boards just in case. Sure, I'll give it a try. Okay. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. Aw, oh, what a sweet, sweet boy, huh? Fremenay. Meet Fremenay. Please give the testing a try. The motherboard's on the table there. Hey, you got it, buddy. You got it, buddy. What is this? Dose of medicine. This tray written on it. All right, left click and drag to assemble the circuit. What? What do I do? Oh. I got it. How do I re How do I How do I turn them? Oh, I got it. Wait, what? Did I do it? I did it! I did it! Debugging successful! Dude, look at his hat! He's a homie! First try. You're doing well. Just as I expected. We've taken on a lot of similar tasks before, you know. Then let's move on to the underwater part. It's just as I mentioned earlier. We're after colorful shells and coral. Oh, coral! Speaking of which, you're both already pretty used to Fontaine's underwater environment, right? Yeah, more or less. Okay, that's good. Just let me know if you ever feel uncomfortable. I'll make sure to stay right by your side. I'll be there for you. When Fremen I need you most, I'll be there for you. <laughs> like you've been there before. I'll be there for you. Like you're there for me too. <laughs> Welcome, followers. Thank you so much. And thank you, everybody here on YouTube. Appreciate you guys being here. Hope you're enjoying so far. It's so cool to finally get to see, like, Fremine. Doing what he does best. Is this a new area? Be right over there. We'll be able to find something that'll help us with our search. Is this a new area? Is this a new area? This is it. We call this thing an echoing conch. It can detect special reflection waves in the water to help us with all kinds of underwater exploration and excavation efforts. Here, try it. Ooh. Did you notice any interesting places? The echoing conch should have detected some just now. Let's go check them out. You got it, buddy. Getting all these mats, dude. Me mats. <sighs> all right, these should be enough. Let's head back to camp. 
thank you for staying out here with me all this time. Oh yeah, don't worry. Just getting that. <laughs> Just getting that. We'll do all those things later. God, there's a cannon. I'm getting it cannoned. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We're all doing well now that we get to play with Remini. Yeah. Do we have to do battle? I'm just gonna do this for our own sake here, guys. Let's make our, our Who's life, our target let's make our life a little easier here. You guys know the drill. Super speed. The wind rises. Oh, who's that? Got a rival, rival workbench? Beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop. Who's this? Oh, you can teleport there directly? Good to know. Zaria Distray. I thought you might have been out diving. I'm sorry, Madame Destray. I must have kept you waiting. I can report, though, that the construction of Thelxie is going quite smoothly. Dude, his speech no pace is so I'm far your from mine. Not your supervisor. And these two are. Oh, uh, they're two of my trustworthy companions. They're here to help me work on Thelxie. Yes, I see. I suppose it's only natural for someone responsible like you to have some reliable friends. A little bit, Sinari. <laughs> it's really nice to meet you, Madam Destray. Are you Fremenay's employer? Madam Destray or Madame Destray? Hmm, we've got a bit of a, a discrepancy there. Um, it's definitely just his character. So, like, when I'm in his character, you don't want to talk fast. It just makes more... Like, there's no world where when I'm playing Fremenay where I'm like, I gotta rush through this line, you know? It's just like he really thinks carefully about the things that he wants to say. I want to spend some time at the bottom of the sea in peace and total silence. There's your British remedy for you. <laughs> Greetings, my dear friends. Just call me Zoria. You are both so adorable. The sight of you reminds me of little fairies under a cottage roof. Oh, do you really think so? Thank you so much, Todd. Do I look of like a course. fairy too? If my child had friends like you, then perhaps he wouldn't have become so obsessed with the tales of water imps. Oh, her child. And I wouldn't have had to trouble Fremine here with this commission. Obsessed with the tales of water imps? Um, thank you so much, guys. Yeah, this so far is, um, we're getting really deep here into the story. Just giving you guys a second here to catch up. Um, and we'll, we'll give you here, we'll give you Cockney from it too. I want to spend some time at the bottom of the sea in peace and total silence. <laughs> so now you've got proper RP British Fremine. You've got American Fremine. All right, we'll do French now as well. Uh, I don't, I can't. I mean, this, this is gonna be so ridiculous. All right, the French. Uh, I won't suspend. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. For, uh, uh, I won't suspend some. It just sounds like Captain Jack Sparrow, so we're not doing it. It just sounds like I'm doing a pirate. I want to spend some time as a bottom of the sea in peace in total silence. <laughs> All right, here we go. So you don't know anything about my request yet? I would have thought Fremine had explained it to you already. Well, Fremine told us that it was a private matter, so he didn't want to just share it willy-nilly. I see. Willy-nilly. So Monsieur Fremine is even more discreet than I am. Monsieur! Hmm. As you are assisting him with the project, I believe it'll be beneficial for you to learn more about its vision and history. But it would be quite impolite of me to simply pile all of my troubles on you without your permission. 
So, would you like to listen to my story? Sure, you can tell us anything. You've already said nice things about us, so we'll try our best to help you get through your troubles. All right, here we go. Ah, what a lovely little fairy. Then let me think of a way to put my situation into words. Hmm. I'm sure you're already familiar with the tale of the water imps, right? Simply put, parents came up with a story, painting water imps as scary abductors in an effort to convince their children to stay away from the water. My child is rather special, however. While most other children are terrified of Felsi, he's infatuated with him. So her kid... In infatuated? Actually... With water imp? Got taken? What a brave soul. Yes. He told me that he thought the water imp might have just been misunderstood. In his mind, instead of singing to abduct children, the water imp actually sang out of a longing for companionship. As a result, he often goes near the water in secret. Mm. Huh. So he wanted to become friends with the water imp so it wouldn't be lonely any longer? What a unique way of thinking. <laughs> Thank you, little Paimon. He indeed has always stood out from the crowd. He was actually diagnosed with loneliness syndrome when he was only eight Whoa. years old. Okay, so he's not taken. Loneliness syndrome? Mm-hmm. It's a type of mental disorder. Those affected by it often feel extremely lonely and lose interest in many mundane activities. The syndrome is probably what made him so determined to become friends with the water imp. Oh no. Is it a very serious disorder? Hmm. If you were to become afflicted with the disorder, Paimon, you would only be able to say less than a fraction of the words you're saying to the traveler now. No! Paimon won't accept that! We would have to find a doctor to help cure Paimon! <laughs> That's the family doctor has already begun to treat my son, but since the disorder is rare, what's up, Amar? There aren't many good regimens for treatment. He has also developed some new symptoms lately, such as uncontrollable delusions. Mm. Huh? Uncontrollable what now? Uncontrollable delusions. To put it simply, he can no longer differentiate between fantasy and reality. And spends all his time in his fantasy world. Then... Then what is he seeing in his fantasy oh. world? It's a dream that he often mentioned to me when he was younger. I've compiled what I could understand of his recent rambling. It goes a bit like this. Once upon a time, there was a splendid and magnificent underwater kingdom of the water imps on the Salacia Plain 500 feet beneath the surface. Countless lovely water imps lived in the houses made of rainbow shells and corals, tending to sea animals during the day and singing between the fields of golden Tadalga during the night. Everyone led carefree and blessed lives until the day of the Iridescence Parade, the important festival during which the new king would be crowned. Before the festival, all water imps would, be, would select the most precious pearl they owned, wrapped it in the golden branches and leaves, and offer it to their most beloved prince. And during the day of the parade, the prince would cross a rainbow bridge made, of, made from all of the offered shells and accept the crown from his father amid the applause of his subjects. Finally, the new king would bless everyone with his well wishes. And as for the prince's name, it's none other than Thelxi. Amazing. Prince Thelxi! Your son came up with all of this? He really crafted a lovely fairy tale world for Thelxi. It's like a beautiful dream. But perhaps no beautiful dream can ever last long. You see, the story ended with a twist. A twist. The day of the Iridescence Parade came as expected, but countless monsters also arrived alongside the prince. The monsters were evil and cruel, and they struck fear into the, all of the water imps' hearts. The water imps, adept at singing as they were, could not defend themselves against the monsters. So the kingdom fell, the king was killed, and the water imps were locked behind bars. The rainbow bridge lost its color and crumbled away. The prince was barely able to escape with the help of a mysterious masked individual, but he had already lost everything and could only spend his days singing mournful songs. And just as the prince sang out of loneliness, so could his song only be heard by the similarly lonely children. How could the story end like this? Is that kind of fantasizing what caused your son to develop his loneliness syndrome? 
Well, it'd be more accurate to say that it was the syndrome that caused such terrible delusions to manifest. But in any case, the biggest problem is the patient eventually loses themselves to the fantasy world of their own creation. What do you mean? My poor child can no longer differentiate between imagination and reality. He's begun to see himself as Thelxi. Mm. Um, perhaps in his mind, the loneliness he felt became the same as that of a prince who lost everything he ever loved or stood for. What? So that's what you meant by uncontrollable delusions. Then we have to help him snap out of it. Mm. Alas, most of the time he acts as if he can no longer sense or interact with the real world at all. Perhaps. have had several discussions <laughs> with the doctor, and we think it is best to try to guide his fantasy. Guide his fantasy? He once wanted to make a picture book of his imaginary world. But since the disorder progressed too quickly, he never quite got past the first page of the book. If we could use this book as a breakthrough for his condition. Here, you can take a look. Take a look. It's in a book. Ah, so book. as a penguin. Oh, you look so sad. What we should do now is help him complete this picture book. However, we'll lead the story to a different ending. One where the water imprint is eventually able to restore his kingdom with the help of his friends. Yes! We need to chase away his loneliness and sorrow and let him perceive a world full of hope again. That's what I mean by guiding his fantasy. Let's do it. But if we just need to finish the picture book, why does Fremenay need to make a Thelxie as well? Mm. Because we need to treat the book's story seriously, as if it's a history of things that have really happened. <laughs> We'll need to go on a journey like Thelxi and help him regain his crown and country. Oh my gosh! But my child can no longer go on a journey of his own. This is why I commissioned Fremenay here to craft a Thelxi, and then I'll paint the journey with this Thelxi into the picture book. Ah, like a stand-in for your son! Paimon's starting to get it now! Oh, you really put a lot of thought into this, Zuria. Um... Paimon's what we do for our kids, huh? I don't have kids, but you know, Where will we ours. Be able to find a water the Royal Owl. Our. There are some ruins <laughs> on the seabed of the Salacia Plains. I've already asked Fremenay to research them for me. We'll be able to use one of the ruins as the kingdom. Oh, so we'll just need to act out a performance of, uh. Oh, a brave journey through the kingdom of water imps. As long as we chase away the monsters in the ruins, it'll count as chasing away the monsters in the water imp kingdom, right? Gonna act Sadly, out a performance? No. We won't just be putting on a performance. It's just as Zuria said. We need to take this seriously. And the only way we can take this seriously is if we choose to believe everything that's happening is real. Mm. Uh, so we'll be playing it straight? Or, uh, making it a fully immersive experience? <laughs> oh, neither of those really sound right. Uh,. We'll still be able to help, right? We've got this. It's all right. Windblade. There's no need to get that serious. It's not <laughs> a big deal. I believe in my son. We can just see this as him wanting to stay asleep for a bit longer because he's so enamored with his dream. Okay. Zuria. Keep your spirits up, everyone. If we were to look troubled, my son is sure to become anxious as well. Hmm. I should be heading back right about now to check on my son. We temporarily moved to a place on the hill over there, so my son will have a better Castle spot to convalesce. The it's not far from the water, and there's also a great view. Feel free to come find me if anything urgent comes up. Alright, let's do it. Understood. There's also one last thing. Since these two friends were able to help me out, I've made some more progress on Thelxi. I estimate that he should be ready sometime tomorrow. That's great news. I must thank you all. Hmm. With that in mind, how about we meet here in two days' time to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps? Two days' time. Sounds good! All right, everyone. Let's meet again in another two days. Zuria sure is a brave and optimistic lady. Fremenay, do you think her plan will work out? 
Uh, let's discuss that over by the tent. There were a few things that I didn't bring up because the madame was here. Ooh. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. All right. What do we got going on here? Oh, wait. I already spent more time than planned on the transcription module. The work on Thelxy's main body was something. Although the diving helmet can still be used to decipher Thelxy's output signal, it'll probably be unintelligible to everyone else. Sorry for not being able to give you a voice, Thelxy. What is it, Fermine? What did you want to say? <clears throat> um, if you don't mind me asking, I would like the two of you to mentally prepare yourselves. Mentally prepare ourselves for what? <sighs> this is the first time that you've met anyone with the syndrome, right? I know you two are both really strong and will do everything you can to help the child. But with the syndrome being the way it is, if things don't... <sighs> Whoa. If things don't quite turn out as we wish, I hope you'll be able to accept the outcome and not put too much blame on yourselves. Fremine, Ooh. why do you bring this up all of a sudden? Didn't we just promise Zuria that we'll be optimistic about everything working out? It's not that I'm not optimistic. It's just... You know this illness really well. Ah, so that's why you looked like you knew exactly what she was talking about. Wait, Fremine, don't tell Paimon that you also... No, no. Please don't misunderstand. I've never had it. I've just... I've just seen many cases of it at the House of the Hearth. Back when we lived under the previous director. They say there are many factors surrounding the development of this illness. I've heard everything from hereditary factors and one state of mind to environmental factors and even ley line disorder effects. Some even say it could be caused by contamination from god remains. Whoa. And from the cases I've seen, there weren't many positive outcomes. In the worst cases, the patient could even pass away. What? It could get that serious? Then your pylon thought they'd just stop talking as much. <sighs> yeah, that's just the nature of it. So if you'll find it difficult to cope with the worst case scenario, I would prefer that you back out right now. I don't want you to help only to feel like you failed. Don't worry. I've seen all kinds of strange and difficult things in life. Yeah, that's right. Paimon's seen all of those things, too. No matter how hard it might get, we won't be scared. Dude, I mean, I think it says a lot about Fremine. You know, he's seen a lot of pain. He's, he's become resolved and hardened to the way that life goes. It's been freaking tough, man. Oh, man. Happy Thanksgiving, my boy. Thank you so much, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, man. Uh, it's uh, We were just saying, you know, it's... The treatment they're going about is a method actually used to treat these symptoms in specific cases. It's just, yeah, I think it's it's a very unique character. And um, I really like that they're they're doing this. Really? Then in that case, let's see this real-life fantasy adventure together to the end. Yeah! Uh, but Paimon has a question. If this illness can really be as bad as you've described, then do you really think Zuria's method will be able to help? After all, we'll just be using a toy as Delcy and some ruins as the Kingdom of Water Imps. The whole adventure will only be turned into a picture book for her son to read. Hmm. Well... I think it should be able to do something. To harbor a fantasy means that the child wants to save himself somehow. The only reason he's allowed his dream kingdom to fall is because he's lost control of his heart. But if we can help him regain control and escape from the darkness, we'll be able to change his world. 
like helping someone who's lost their voice be able to speak again. Oh, mm. I can see what you're saying now. Huh. How do you understand all of this so well, Fremine? Hmm. Well, maybe because I have also had many of my own dreams in the past. I even had my own fairy tale world, much like that boy's. I was able to draw a lot of support from it. So I believe in the power of fantasy worlds. So the penguin town you mentioned was? <sighs> so you remembered. <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. What penguin town? Why does a Paimon remember? Is that also a fairy tale world? Don't leave Paimon in the dark! Suddenly, Fremenet pulls out a diving helmet and puts it on his head. <clears throat> it's just one of my personal quirks. Please pay it no mind. <laughs> anyway, Penguin Town is a peaceful place with lots of penguin residents. They're all really good at making clockwork toys. And Pear is the town's triumphant hero, as well as the one who quietly protects the whole place. Pear? Well, I often think that Pear only came to me because he realized how much I needed him. So it's not so much that I made Pear, as Pear chose me as his friend. Uh, Fremine, are you sure you're not losing control of your fantasies as well? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Mind your business. I can still differentiate between fantasy and reality. I just believe that the fairy tale world of my dreams must also exist somewhere. It might just be hidden, which is why it's difficult to see. Or it will only reveal itself at very specific times. Specific times? Like when you put on your diving helmet? Yeah. That's the general idea of it. Really? I just said that because you put on your helmet. Have you ever observed the surface world from underwater? It's as if you're viewing a whole different world from the outside. It's a very surreal feeling. Both alienating, but also as if you're being protected by something. I have a similar feeling when I put on my diving helmet. In those moments, it's possible to see some truly wondrous things as if a fairy tale has become reality it's almost like a sort of miracle really like a miracle now i want to try on your helmet too well if that's in order <laughs> uh, if it's in order yep that's an order Right. I still have to collect some tools I'll need to craft the weapon. I've got to finish everything before tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me, Paimon. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities for you to try my helmet. Thanks for all of your help. I'll be off for now. Let's meet up here again in two days. Thelxie's Fantastic Adventures Part 1 Complete. What is this? Whoa! Okay! And now we've got stuff! So much to do! Dude, look how cool this looks. Look at all the hats on the penguins! Dude, we gotta figure out what that Morse code says. Dude, he's got a beanie! We got penguins with beanies! Oh, man. This is so cool. Alright, let's get on to this, huh? The key to debugging the motherboard is being in familiar with the circuit structure. Let's do it. I think I'm here still, right? So we gotta go here. Man, this has been... I'm loving this event. I'm loving it. 
Uh, passes through an inductive switch. The broken circuits on the corresponding color and motherboard will be connected. Will Strive, thank you for the bit. Uh, wondering if reading out loud is good practice for voice acting. Absolutely. Absolutely good practice. Okay, so we want to go here. Wait. Like that? Is that what we do? Ah, yes. We did it. Debugging successful. Is that a good is that a good score? Um Oh, okay. Right? Circuit not connected. What? Oh. Wait, what? Look at the colors. Oh. You guys are smart. Dude, you guys know I don't read. <laughs> Wait, I did this already. All right, so we did the two of them. Oh, one, two. That was fun. And now we got this. Dude, dude, look at these penguins with beanies. <laughs> I read for a living. You guys know I don't read. It's so much more fun when you don't read. <laughs> I love how you're all like It was in the instructions, Paul Echoing conch plays It'll display iridescent stuff Collect stuff Got it Some stuff requires stuff And we require the stuff to get the stuff Search for with the conch The conch Wait, am I supposed to kill these things? Yes, I am. Alright. Oh, more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. I love how I'm using Fremenate to do this event. He was like... He's like, dude, Traveler, are you gonna help me or not? Okay, I'll do it myself. Kill you, dirty slime! Mission complete. Completed. And then what's this? And then this unlocks in one day. Serendipitous. Oh! Oh! A reserved young man who is well versed in diving beneath his distant icy demeanor lies his pure heart, bereft of all flaws. Oh! That's me. Well, everybody here, that is part one of Felixie's fantastic adventures. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you please like and subscribe this video because we're going to be doing the entire event, putting piece by piece on here. Each day it is available, so follow along for the whole journey. I appreciate you guys being here. Hey, 
you didn't click the subscribe button. You didn't you didn't tell guys, chat. What what are they doing? They they didn't Okay, there you go. Good job. So now we're going to see you here for the next adventure. So uh, this has been a, a fantastic event. I loved it dearly. I hope you guys loved it. Let me know what you thought about it so far and what you think of Fremenet and everything that we're learning. Um, a, this has been a dream uh, to be a part of this and this great event that I think you all will truly love. Um, it's got a great message. I think we've seen so far. It's dealing with a lot of you know mental illness or disorders as they're putting it. And... Um, yeah, I had a blast uh, working on it. So uh, thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Hello again, everybody. This is the true part two of Thelxie's Fantastic Adventures. Finally getting to know a little bit more about Fremine and what's going on with him and Thelxie and everything else with the uh, machines. Building the Thelxie. Um, Madame Destray's son, who's dealing with some stuff, and we're trying to help him out. We're going to recreate this story. So that uh, hopefully um, he can he can no longer have the syndrome. So we're gonna dive right in. But before we do that, I usually say this at the end of the videos, but everybody here in chat is gonna let you know that if you're not subscribed, you should be subscribed because uh, we want more people to learn about Fremine and the Fremination here, this wonderful crew of people. So uh, go ahead, like, and subscribe to this video here. And if you found this uh, video by accident, well, we're happy to have you here and welcome to the to the to the nation, the Fremination. Uh. You did it? Okay, good. Here we go! We are going to dive right in, no pun intended, to the second part of Thelxie's Fantastic Adventures. Hi, Luna. Luna. Hi, babe. Luna is saying hi right now, so as we admire this amazing loading screen, or, or idle screen that they've given us for uh, this event, we've got um, part two right now. The second part of this event is finally live. So, in addition to being able to do these two things, which we will get to, first thing is first, we will go and figure out where this um, thing so wants to take us, you know, not the tide. Oh, let's redeem that stuff. Okay. Where is it? Is it here? Thelxy right here. Prince is country. Go to Fremenet's camp in order to cure Madame Zuria's child. Oh, wait, what? Zuria? Is her first name Destray? Is it Zuria or Destray? You begin a fantastical adventure. Today is the day you head to the kingdom of the water imps. Just what will you encounter? Okay, destroys her last name. I'm like, all right, I'm like, I, I recorded this event. I should know this. Fremenet's temporary camp. Will he have more camps? All right, here we go. Uh, is your child feeling any better? Thank you for your concern, Fremenet. His condition is fairly stable. The family doctor said we might be able to take him out for a stroll today. Zuria, Fremenet, we're here! Here we go, see? Zuria destroy. <laughs> Seems like everyone's arrived now. The gang's all here! Not quite. Aren't we missing someone? But Paimon has a guess where he might be. Who are we missing? Hey, Thalxy! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> Dude, it's R two D two. Oh, Thalxy's got himself a sword and a shield now. He's looking sharp. Indeed. Ah, ah, ah. With his weapons no in pun hand, intended, Thalxy again. looks more formidable than ever. You've really outdone yourself, Remine. We helped you. Yes. You really had a good eye for materials. Everything you found was high quality. Speaking of which, Zuria just told me that she wants to end the adventure with the coronation ceremony. So, uh, could I also trouble you with finding some materials for the crown? The crown? You can just keep an eye out for them on our way to the ruins. 
I was planning to collect the materials myself, but then I realized you might be able to find some prettier ones than what I could get my hands on. Consider it done! Seems like everything's ready to go. Shall we head out? Please wait a moment. I was just thinking. Since Thalxi has already shown us his brand new appearance, we may already be able to draw a new page in the picture book. What do you think? Ooh, Paimon's excited now! What should we draw on the page? Hmm... Why don't we use the story we know as a reference? Just make the atmosphere a bit less grim. So we'll take out the sad parts and replace them with happier stuff? Sounds great to Paimon! Alright, I'll give it a try. I'm not very adept at drawing, but I've seen a lot of art during my work. Now, as far as the actual content of the drawing, Please tell me what you'd like to see. Yeah, why does that voice Let sound so familiar? Let me think. We can draw the weapon. The prince has picked up the sword of courage and the shield of perseverance, which proves he has crossed the mire of doubt and now is ready to wage war against the darkness. Okay, the darkness. I'll add the weapons. Anything else? Paimon wants to give him some friends. Thoxy's got some friends by his side now, so he's no longer fighting alone! Okay, I'll also draw some companions. Anything else? Oh, Don't forget to add some color! Color! Ah, oh, color! Yes, that's really important! The road in front of him now will <laughs> no longer be just grayscale, Penguins but bursting and with color I love and it. hope. Who would have thought the page could have become so inspiring? How wonderful! I'm an Aries! Splendid ideas, everyone! Everyone looks super pumped up. Thelxy most of all. Are you seeing this, my son? Are you feeling inspired by this as well? Mika? Gotta get robbed to do that. I'm sure he is, Zuria. And this is still just the first page. That's right! Paimon can't wait to see the picture book when it's all finished! We should finish it as soon as possible and keep up the belief and hope in our hearts. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to look forward to it as well. So let's get the show on the road and head towards the Kingdom of Water Imps. Yay! Thalxy's fantastic adventures begin now! Prince's Country, Part 2! Are we good? Okay. Let me know if it happens again, please. So I don't sound like a Pokemon. I might have to get a new mic. It's too shallow to die. Here we go. Kingdom of Water Imps. that we can use for the crown, right? Let's get some for Fremenay. Ah! Yeah, I think first thing we'll do is replace the, uh, the cable. Before we get too crazy here. Um... Where am I... Am I supposed to be getting the Romaritime flower? Okay. No, I'm not. These should be enough. I knew you'd have a knack for finding the best materials. We shouldn't need anything else to head to the kingdom of. Whoa. Oh no! I I, I I robbed the kingdom of what? The kingdom of what? Here we go, assaulting the water imp kingdom. Dude, look at this. That's the screen I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this screen to do uh hang on. We're gonna we're gonna do this right now. Because I love this so much. Hang on, actually. We're gonna screenshot this and this is what I'm gonna use for uh That's gonna be the thumbnail right there of this video.
Hello, Terra Eliza. What's up, Soul, and everybody else who's joined us today? Here we go. The beautiful Kingdom of Waterrooms is at hand. Warriors, together with the Prince Thalxy, reclaim it from the monsters occupying it! Dude, he is riding a, a jellyfish. Uh, and we, we get an assistant. Dude, we get to fight with Thalxy. Are you kidding me? Wait, what's going on here? Fremenay? Like, how am I not going to use Fremenay in Fremenay's event? Like, let's, let's get reels here. Um, Fischl. Farina. No, Baiju, Farina. Baiju, Farina. I'm loving it so far. What's up, Candy? So these are the underwater ruins that Fremini found. They're pretty amazing, but still not exactly the kind that Paimon was imagining. This is the Kingdom of Water Imps, Paimon, not ruins. Oh, yeah, Paimon knows. It's just... <sighs> Paimon thought we'd actually see a fairy tale world. Like with the Water Imps' colorful houses and the Rainbow Bridge. Ooh, the I'm Rainbow Bridge sorry. with animals. I was hoping to put up some decorations, but ran out of time to do it by myself. It's okay, it's fantasy time Whoa, now. Oh, someone's already switched into fantasy mode. Seems like the travelers already got the gist of things. You should do your best too, Paimon. Uh, don't underestimate Paimon. Paimon can flip the switch too. Now entering Paimon fantasy mode! Ahem. <clears throat> Young adventurers, tis Paimon, guardian goddess of this land. State your goals and intentions for visiting this nation. <laughs> we are the companions Just, of Prince uh. Thalxi, your divine highness. We have come to help him reclaim the glory that he has lost. Oh, reclaiming your glory? Thy goddess here has golden glory, silver glory, and bronze glory. Karina what must have fun that recording the this. Has lost? Huh? Uh, did you break character, Paimon? Not at mm. all! This is the goddess's test! <clears throat> From your responses, the goddess has concluded that you're all brave adventurers without the taint of greed in your hearts. As such, you are worthy of everyone's respect. So please accept the goddess's reward. The goddess will now bestow all three types of glory upon you. And as for this prince, the goddess will also bestow upon you the rainbow glory. So your future will always be filled with light. My gratitude to your Divine Highness for such generous blessings. Power is now surging through every part of my body. Whoa, the power. Uh, me. Me too. Is this the divine inspiration of legend? All thanks to the power of the goddess Paimon. <laughs> <clears throat> now, adventurers, forge bravely ahead and defeat the monsters that have taken over the kingdom. You will be sure to find that which you seek. We just get- This is a LARPing event! Use Prince Thelxy's Water Imp's Chasson to defeat the opponents more easily! After using his skill, Thelxy must charge it before being able to use it again. Enemies are back again. Your Highness, please show them what you're made of. Oh, we just used them. We're under attack again. It's a law which rolled the deep. There's no need to fear, my friends. Hear that Fremen Alarm? So strong now that even a divinitural of the deep will pose no threat to you. Fremen sounds serious right there. Tasmagoria. Dead reckoning. Getting gear. Pair. <laughs> Divinature. Oh, finally over. So have we defeated the evil monsters and reclaimed the kingdom of water imps? 
Yes, it should now be time for us to attend Thuxi's coronation ceremony. The only thing is, I didn't expect this to go so smoothly. I thought it would have taken longer for us to reach the heart of the ruins. It was my mistake. I should have told Fremenay earlier that we would also need a crown. Whoa! Thank you, Sainari, with the five gifted subs! Woo! Thank you so much. And no worries, C01U, because you just got a gifted sub from our buddy Sainari Games. Taking that top spot right there. Thank you, everybody. See, YouTube, if you come on the Twitch and watch these things live, you too could get a gifted sub and then get some free blessings of the Welkin Moons. Shout out to Sainari Games. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you so much. That was very kind of you. The cats, I, and everybody else here appreciates it. Give Lex like five minutes, yeah. <laughs> Hold Lex's drink real quick. Uh... What a nice addition to this wonderful story we're experiencing so far. Thank you so much, Sainari. Shout out, Sainari. Uh, it was my mistake. I should have told Fremini earlier that we should also, that we need a crown. Yes, we knew we needed a crown. I don't know why I just did that, but here we go. It's all because the Traveler and Goddess Paimon were too strong! We just eradicated all the monsters in one go! Guys, this is why you guys are the best, the funniest, and most amazing human beings on uh, this planet and in the land of Tibet. <laughs> because this is the nonsense we get up to here on our streams, guys. Shout out to Lex, dude. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lex, dude. Lex and Sinari, you guys are so kind to this community. See, you see the fun we get up to here? You see the fun we get up to here? Congrats to Onyxy, Tim, Sumiroka, Kiba, Yazora, Dojo Bear. Kozucha, Mario E. Simp, and C01UU. Uh, congrats, guys. Thank you so much. We've got chaos here. Dude, this is not going to be one of those streams again where we uh, don't stop crystal top upping me like we've done previously. If you want to watch that video of me pulling for Farina's weapon and Farina, uh, it's insanity that ensues. Uh, that's the type of awesomeness we have here. So thank you so much, Lex. That was so awesome. Uh, <laughs> very kind, very kind. Uh, here we go. It's all because PCJ, the Traveler, got a spy mama too strong. We eradicated all the monsters in one go. It's okay, Zuria. We can come back again once I've made the crown. Then I must thank all of you again for taking the time. And you too, Thalxi, my child. So th this is Morse code, is it not? I gotta get full, like, transcriptions of that. I don't think there's anything that will be able to stop him. He's like a true prince now. Yes, I agree as well. Dude, Fremenay is getting into it. You hear that in his voice? Let's head back to Thank camp you, for now. I asked the Traveler to search for some materials on the way because I want to make the crown as soon as possible. We can add an update to Thulxi's fantastic adventures as well. Now that we've reclaimed the Kingdom of Water, oh, thank you, Ashton. it's time for us to draw some new scenes in the picture book. What? King Lugia? It tra that translated to, I love you, Mama? Zuria and Fremenay, why don't we draw the new pages first? Paimon really wants to update the picture book. You just want to see someone draw Goddess Paimon. <laughs> no problem. I'm happy to oblige. Then in that case, the story today should go something like this. After overcoming many obstacles, Prince Thelxi and his brave companions finally arrived at the entrance to the Kingdom of Water Imps. At this time, the little fairy in the group, Paimon, revealed her true goddess form to her companions. The goddess has arrived! She praised the companions for their purity, and to reward them, she bestowed upon them many blessings. 
and even prayed that the prince would be able to fulfill his goal. Dude, this is so cute. Bathed under the goddess's glory, the prince and his companions charged into the bastion of evil, chased away the monsters, and rescued the pretty water imps from their imprisonment. The prince finally managed to reclaim his kingdom. But as for the crown... Oh no, the crown isn't ready yet! No. The crown was within the prince's reach, but the monsters took it with them as they fled. They haven't given up and are sure to return, but the prince is certain to reclaim the crown the next time they fight. The brilliant rainbow shall descend onto the kingdom once more. Oh, and Paimon can almost see it all happening now! Whoa, the pages are beautiful! Surya is really talented at drawing! Oh, man. Thank you, everyone. We've also completed the second page of the picture book now. Thelxie's journey is one step closer to its end and the promised coronation. My child, you'll also be able to brighten up when that time comes, right? What was that one? Who knows? Perhaps the doctor will already have some good news for you when you get back home today. I sure hope so, your divine highness. That was I love you, mama, as well. Oh, Fremine, about the time you'll need for the crown. Please don't worry. One day should be more than enough. Ah, then I must thank you for your hard work. All right, let's rendezvous here in another two days' time for our final adventure, okay? Sounds good to me. And see you in two days, my lovely friends. Dude. All right, it's about time we start heading off, too. You've still got some work to do, right, Fremine? Yeah, I'll need to go to the city shortly to get some parts for the base of the crown. I want to try out a few different designs and choose the one that looks the best. Remini's really dedicated. Yeah, Paimon knew that you didn't often take commissions from others, but Paimon had no idea you'd be so dedicated once you're on the job. Ah, uh, well, about that... Do the eye shift? It might be because... Because what? It's because... <gasps> I hope... <laughs> uh, what's the matter? And what's with that look on your face? You're turning red! And it looks like you're about to run away and put your helmet on again! Uh, am I turning red? Today, Fremine. Let's see each other in two days' time. Okay. Thank you. See you in two days. See ya. <sighs> I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful and experience a miracle for themselves. Guys, that is so sweet. Oh my gosh. I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful and experience a miracle for themselves. Out here in the club, just crying! Ah! Dude. Thelxie's Fantastic Adventures Part 2 completed.
This is such a sweet little event. Oh my gosh. Dude, oh man. Well, let's go to the swirling vortex here and, and charge into battle. I really love that they're doing this, like, new event like this, and that it's... Not four times multiplier. Like, this is something new, and it's tackling a subject that hasn't been tackled before in this game. I know, Ashton. I mean, listen, obviously, I have my own insight into what's going on here, but I think it's pretty apparent that Remine is clearly affected by what's happening here. What does Thelxy actually do? Does he go into battle here? Oh, he's just doing like a burst. Mind the side effects. Remember, help. Let my name echo in song. <laughs> As you wish, me, Foylein. <laughs> <laughs> Going under. Care for a dance. Getting here. Dance with me. <laughs> Getting here. <laughs> oh, Sainari, I'm so Getting happy here. that people have been liking <laughs> Remine and everything. Getting a turn for the better. Shower me with praise. Let the world come on. This is what it's like when worlds collide. Commencing cleanup. Get in here. Frost is coming. I really. Oh man. So there's one more part of it, right? Is it tomorrow? Is the last part tomorrow? No way, right? Get in here. A bitter pill to swallow. Seems like an emergency. Two days. Okay. Frost is coming. Dead reckoning. The show. Getting here. Frost is covered. Hair. Frost is covered. Getting here. The doctor will see you. Taking the show me the praise. Let the world come on. Oh, but you get the free Fremenace today? Hair. Commencing cleanup. Getting here. That's this. Frost is coming. Getting gear. Care for it. Frost is coming. Dance with me. Getting gear. Wow, new record. We shattered that. So we get the free Fremine after today. We'll have enough of the points. Fremine official. Oh, Asia server. Okay. <laughs> Seems like an emergency. Pear. Going on. Frost is coming. Pear. Frost is coming. Getting here. Taking a turn for the Welcome As back, Mila. Frost is coming. Dead reckoning. Get in here. Pair. Get in here. I felt Frost it. Is coming. Pair. Dude, I'm really enjoying Hyper Bloom. Get oh no. Strike a pose. How dare you? Get a little bit more ER for Farina. Old chap. No worries, old chap. Frost is coming. Show me with praise. Let my name echo in song. Take 
taking a turn for the better. Midnight fin. Here. Commencing cleanup. Frost is coming. Get in gear. Frost is coming. Here. Little bit more ER for Karina. Remember, help comes first. Nice, Mila. Um, his last line here, him talking about the other kids of the hearth, how much he goes out of his way to help others. Like, could it be a part of his thing where serving, following orders? But now that I think about it, it's really sounding like hyper empathy. But you need more insight. We're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm just so excited for you guys to experience it, man. It's you know. Let's use a let's use a a, a a water or or an analogy that will work well for Fremenet here. Loose lips sink ships. Oh wait, what did I just do? Okay, here we go. All right, so we did that. Now we're here. I know, listen, you know, Fremenet definitely took a bit of a back seat in most of the Archon quests, so I'm glad that, you know, he, I mean, he had a very huge part in a lot of the last stuff we just saw. So, I'm glad, though, now he's getting in this moment to be the focus of what's going on, and we can learn about his story and his background, because there is so much depth, as, we, as we've already seen, to this character. And it's only now that we're, oh wait, I need some sort of... I need some. I need. I need. I guess. I guess that'll have to do, right? Oh, there we go. Just in the nick of time. Oh, Ashton, your Fremenet cosplay truly inspired me. And don't worry, guys. I'm getting Fremenet cosplay. It's happening. There is, honestly, the one that I'm trying to get, there is a back order on. Like, it said it was going to take five months to get, but apparently it's, like, the, the highest quality one, so... Um, just give me some time. I might have to make a compromise and figure out a better one so that I don't have to wait six months. I'm not sure where it is. Someone was helping me with it, like, in terms of... I'm not, like, very versed in cosplay stuff, so... It's kind of a above my pay grade to make a comment on what it is or how it is or... Hey. When did you get in here? Oh no. Thank you for the follows. Alright, we got 40 Thelxy badges. Got more, so we've got actually like 46. Now we're here, right? We're gonna do some more, uh, we're gonna do some more motherboard work here. All right, now that we know how to do this, first try every time. So, uh, what? How do I open that if I... What? Okay, it will... They'll go through regardless. They'll go through regardless. So he's gonna go with that. Open there. So... Easy. First try. First try. Um, I'm gonna take a guess here. Don't even know if this is gonna work. Nope. Opposite. Opposite. Oh, but then how do I get... 
I see. I see. This one is a little challenging. Like, can I get this here? That? And there's no way to get up through there. Unless I do this. That worked! But I probably could have did it in less time, right? Let's do it in a little less time. I just need to make it not go immediately. I wonder if that'll work. No, wait, what? There we go. Look at that. New record. New record! Collect my rewards. All these primo gems. Okay. Like, is there a shop? Or, like, does it just... You just get this afterwards. Like, you get the Fremenet. Okay, yeah, right. When you get 80. So that's why it's tomorrow. Or the next event for it. How cool! Another amazing day. Doing Thelxy's Fantastic Adventures. We've got, I guess, at least another another two days until the actual event goes through, right? It's because we're going to have these in 12 hours. So 12 hours, which means I'll be streaming again tomorrow. And then in one day is the final thing. So we've got, like, two more bits. But we get a free Fremenet on the next one at 80 badges. Um, yep, we're still recording for YouTube. We're ending it right now. Here we go. This is the end of it. If you haven't liked and subscribed, do it right now. But we will see you in a few hours or a few days, depending upon when you watch this, when it becomes available. And uh, we thank you guys for uh, being here. Free Mo Gems for Fremine. <laughs> Free mints in the fermentation. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. And we'll see you for part 2.5 and part 3. Hello, everybody. This is the final section, part of the Thelxis Fantastic Adventures. Um, we have on the Twitch, as some would call it, have gone through all of the parts, the first two parts, the point fives, which is basically you doing the events, the, the games, the mini-games. And uh, it has been such an amazing story and gameplay. I'm so excited that Fremine has finally gotten his time in the spotlight, and we're about to come to the conclusion of Thelxy's Fantastic Adventures. So I appreciate you guys being here. If you've watched all the parts or if you watched on Twitch, Thank you for doing so, and thank you for joining the community. If you're not a part of the community already, like and subscribe to the video. I say it every time, but some of you need a gentle nudge, so make sure you do it. And check out the Discord if you haven't, because a lot of cool stuff goes out on the Discord. So, without further ado, we are going to go <clears throat> check out Thelxy's Fantastic Adventures. So we've got this final thing to do, which we're not going to do yet. Um, the, the end of the fantastical adventure approaches. At its final destination, will the Madame Zuria's child get better as you hope? <clears throat> Part three. Here we go. You guys ready? Desert Pavilion Chronicle for Wander. Smart. <laughs> Naked arcade bubbles. <laughs> like, this is my event, guys. So, like, back off. Okay. Here we go. Dude, look at him. Oh, look, 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 look at him waving us over! What happens if I fight him? Does he get scared of me? Dude, not even phased! 
Mindless side effects. Not even phased. <laughs> Not scared of nothing. Wait, what does what does Thelxy say? Oh. <laughs> Look at the wild arena's thing. <laughs> Hello, Paimon. <laughs> Hello, traveler. Is the crown ready? <laughs> yes. We're just waiting for Zuria now. She hasn't arrived yet. Then let's wait for her a little while. Or actually, maybe we can go find her. It's <clears throat> not too far from here anyway. Didn't she say she just lives on the hill over there? The castle hey, on the hill. Hey, Paimon. Who's this? Oh, and speaking oh, of... Oh, there we go. Okay. Found you two at long last. Uh, I'm so glad that you both are all right. Huh? Why are you here, Miss Delaroche? And what could have happened to us? Oh, this what is What could have happened? That water imp Thelxy, of course. After I gave you that commission the other day, I began to get worried and went asking about the boy that went missing. Oh, that? We've got it all figured out now. The boy you heard about was just Framine. Even the missing fish was his fault. Don't worry, we'll help you get the fish back as soon as we're done with this job. Oh, sorry about that. I've been diving in the area recently. Aww. Framine diving? No, 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 that's not what happened at all. I've heard a completely different account. What I was told is that about a month ago, a child tied a bunch of heavy seashells onto his body and walked into this open stretch of water. He never came back. What could that be if not that water imp's work? <gasps> uh, are, are, are you sure? 100% sure. I've confirmed the account with several veteran fishermen I know. The child was only eight years old. His name was Lesko. Lesko Destray. Wait, Lesko Destray? Yeah, that's the name. They say the family took on the name after moving to the city from a place called Stray. Anyway, his mother is a pretty famous art dealer, while his father passed away from an accident many years ago. His father passed away. Well, well, naturally, his mother was devastated by the incident and fell terribly ill. It's said that she left the court of Fontaine, and no one knows where she's gone. It... it, it can't be, right? Let's go Destre? Zuria Destre? It, it, it must be some sort of a coincidence? Oh. Seems like we need to pay a visit to the Destray house. I'm sorry, miss. We've got to go check on something right now. Oh, I see. <clears throat> well, you go on ahead. I just came to make sure that you're both all right. I'll head back then. Uh, please remember to take care. Part three. Miraculous crown. Guys. What is going on? Do we believe that she's telling the truth? I don't know what to believe. <laughs> Got a blast. Oh, dude. That was a good one. Tenor. There's no end. Because Debbie Derryberry also voices Jimmy Neutron. By the way, um, I was super upset that you don't get a Thelxy, um, pet. It's a furnishing. Imagine we got a Thelxy pet, and you could have Thelxy and Pear. Here we go. Excuse us. Uh, is anyone here? Is this Madame Destre's place? Who are you? I have a patient here who needs quiet bed rest. Please leave us be unless you have anything urgent to report. Who is the patient? This is the residence of Zuria Destree, 
and I'm Jala Khan, her family doctor. What did you mean by your question just now? Who else could be my patient? Your patient should be Zuria's son, right? Thank you, Ace. She told us herself that her son had contracted loneliness syndrome. No, you're right. Young Master Lesko did have that illness once upon a time, but he's... Well, the young master's no longer with us. And now, the madame has come down with the same illness. Are you... her friends, by any chance? You inform the doctor of all that's happened in a few days. Oh. So, when she had requested time to go out over the past few days, it was so she could spend them with you. So, if I'm understanding this right, the one who's suffering from uncontrollable delusions is the madame herself? She believes her son is still alive? That is correct. When the young master disappeared, Ashton, you have she a script, was huh? organizing an art exhibit that she had specifically prepared for him. But since she had to leave the house, she was unable to see her son one last time. That might have been the trigger for her regret. Or perhaps the family's fall into loneliness and grief was inevitable as soon as the old master passed away. First the son, and then the mother. Mmm, dude, so but much pain. How could that be? She really looked like she had a handle on everything. Her smile was so lovely, and she even told us to stay optimistic. But you're saying she... Those actions are proof that she can no longer differentiate between fantasy and reality. Then, Ooh. all the other things that she told us about her son, were those fake too? No, those were all real. Although, they were all things that happened before the young master left us for good. Hmm. Madame's time has just never moved forward since his passing. I see. So after her son left, she created a fantasy world where her son was still with her. She was looking for a way to cure his illness when she ran into us. So how is Zuria now? She has been in a good mood the past few days, even humming a song when she returned from her stroll. She even began discussing with me the idea of using deliberate guidance to ease the illness. It was all going well, until last night. Oh, no. She spent a whole night staring at the shell the young master left behind and the words that he had inscribed onto it. Then she broke down once more. Mm. I prescribed some sedatives and she's currently resting. But, oh, no. but then what should we do? How can we help her? There has to be something we can do. Don't panic, Paimon. Even though this is a devastating piece of news, we must all calm down first. Look at Fremenet taking the lead. What should we do? I need to think. I need to remember the old house of the hearth and the children who lived in it. Those patients and what their doctors said back then. Hmm. Ah! What if... Dr. Jalakon, have you seen a picture book? The madame should have brought it back with her. Hey, check out that French, huh? <laughs> hmm. Are you thinking about trying the guidance therapy she talked to me about before? Well, it's worth a shot. I'll go get the book. Dude, this is such a heartbreaking story, and we see Fremenet. Yes. This is it. We see him so aware of how this goes down, of what's happening, and how to deal with it. Man, we still need to finish the adventure in the picture book. That's right. If what Dr. Jalacon said was true, the past few days have been very helpful to Zuria, so we should complete this journey. We need to show her that her child has found a happy ending in the world of her dreams. But... but wouldn't that just make it harder for her to accept reality? 
One must first face reality before accepting it. It's like a Star Wars line. The Madame has been crushed by her feelings of grief and can no longer bring herself to face reality. Our first priority would be to get her out of this state. Right. Before today, I had thought she wanted to use Thelxie's fantastic adventures to save her son. But now... I think she might need it to save herself. Mm. And if we could complete it, we should be able to give her some feeling of inspiration and closure. Maybe those feelings would be enough to give her some courage to face reality again. We'll have to give it a try. There's no time to waste. Let's set off right away. He's got orders. He's got a mission. He's got a mission, this boy. Dude, how heartbreaking, right? Kit with that raid of 12. Thank you so much, Kit. Shout out, Kit. Thank you guys joining us. We are finishing Thelxie's Fantastic Adventures here. And, uh, you know, I, I, with this certain, um, with this type of event, I knew pretty much everything because I am I'm it's like I'm involved in everything so in order for things to make sense I kind of had to know welcome in Raiders please no spoilers we are finishing up this part of Thelxie's fantastic adventures assaulting the water imp kingdom once more Evil never sleeps and has secretly smuggled away the crown that rightfully belongs to Prince Thelxi. Warriors, defeat the abominable thieves and take back Thelxi's crown! Let's go to the challenge. The challenge is ours. Hyper Bloom, baby, let's go. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for the follows. Guys, we're giving away blessings of the Welkin Moons. So make sure you are checking that out if you are interested. This is the final part of Thelxie's journey, but the most important person is missing. R2. R2. Everyone, please don't be so down and gloomy. Remember what she told us? If we were to feel troubled, the patient would become anxious as well. If we have to give something to Zuria, it should be our smiles. We have to keep smiling as we finish this adventure. And then she'll be able to recover, right, everyone? Yeah, I'm sure she will. Yeah, I'm sure she will. <laughs> I, just, I, I just said that. Oh. Be careful, brave adventurers. Here comes the evil one. She got dunked on right there. Dude, Fremen means business. Oh. Sorry, I have to go. I made a promise to my friends, and I'm already very late. But, Madame, you're still... Don't try to stop me. Today's the most important day for treating Thelpsy. We'll use the guidance method. Didn't you also say that you'd think it'd work? I'm not trying to stop you, Madame. It's just... <sighs> Could you tell me the name of your child? Dr. Jalakan... How can you forget the name of your own patient? His name is Thelxie. Mm. He's the prince of the kingdom of water imps. We will go today to reclaim his crown and attend his coronation ceremony. I see. Madame. She's really in it. Please rest assured, everything is still on schedule. Your friends have already departed to find... 
Wait. Look. They've already returned. Zuria! Zuria! We've retrieved the crowns! Huh. Paimon! Everyone! Have you really? Yes. But the coronation ceremony still hasn't taken place. Because we felt like you should be the one to preside over it. Wonderful! How wonderful! Thelxi, my child, my child, are you hearing this? Everything you lost will now come back to you, and soon, very soon, you will never be lonely again. I want to know what that says. And Do we know what that says? page of the picture book. It's still waiting for you to illustrate in color. Right. The picture book. The picture book. But I don't know what I should put on the last page. Don't worry. Thilksy and his friends all know what you got on it. Get ready, Zuria. We'll describe everything for you. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> At last, Thilksy <clears throat> and his friends were able to drive off the final invading monsters and achieve a dashing victory. Their success was complete. And the recovered crown resplendent. <laughs> the water imps, finally returning to their homes, showered the prince with love and applause as he greeted them. They once again offered their precious shells to the prince and reconstructed the rainbow bridge of old. As he watched the scene unfold, the prince could not help but be touched by its beauty. I'm gonna get in on the action. By everyone's happiness, the prince stepped onto the Rainbow Bridge and took a good look at all the friends who had gone on the journey with him. There stood the Traveler, Goddess Paimon, <laughs> Fremine, and... Huh? Where's the last person? Thank you, Athena. The prince looked frantically around, but could not find the person he wanted to see most. At that moment, the person suddenly appeared on the other side of the bridge. She walked towards him with a smile and slowly lifted her veil. Oh. The prince could not hold back his tears. He recognized then that the mysterious person that had been by his side the whole time was none other than his mother. Surya walked across the bridge and placed the crown above the prince's head. She smiled down upon him as she said, My prince... My king, you shall never, ever need to feel lonely again. Mm. That's the end of the story, Zuria. Thank you. Thank you all. I am so sorry, my child. Mamma should have spent more time with you. Did you hear the story? You'll never have to feel lonely again. Just vibing, listening. <laughs> Mama loves you too. Oh. But what's happening? Is Zuria talking to Thelxy? What is Thelxy saying? Quick, put on my diving helmet. There's a transcription module in it that's compatible with Thelxy's output signals. You should be able to use it to understand what Thelxy's saying. Fremenet walks up to you and pulls out his diving helmet before placing it on your head! I love you, Maman. So that's what Thelxi is saying. Dude, look at the effect. This is what it looks like inside Fremenet's helmet, too. It's got, like, this watery aura around it. Oh, man. Mama. Mama loves you, too. But I love you more, Mamo. Wait, what is this? What? Did you see something? Mamo, I'm getting a little sleepy. If it's time for bed, 
Can you hum a lullaby to me again? Of course, my dearest child. As long as you want to hear it, Mama will always hum for you. That's why she was humming on the way back to the house. Thank you, Mamon. Your lullaby has always been my favorite. Now that I've heard it, I can return to my dream and to the kingdom of water imps in peace. <sighs> My poor darling. This is so sad. Please don't forget. I will always love <sighs> you. My love is greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. I won't forget, Mamon. And so is my love for you. Greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. Good night, Mamon. Oh, man. Something so real. I'm really glad they decided to tell this story. Three days later, at Fremenay's camp. Traveler, Paimon, you're here. Fremenay, why did you call us in such a hurry? Did you hear something from Zuria? Oh, if it's not good news, Paimon doesn't want to hear it. Don't worry, it's definitely great news. The Madame came here for a visit just now with her doctor. Color has returned to her cheeks, and she sounded full of energy as well. So excited. She said she'd like to return to the court to continue hosting the art exhibit. But this time, she'll work with her doctor to exhibit some picture books related to the illness. Of course, Thelxie's fantastic adventures and the guidance therapy will be included in the exhibit as well. She'd like to use her experience to help others. Mm-hmm. Here, please take this picture book with you. The Madame wanted you to have it. If, at some point in the future, you were to run into someone with similar troubles, she hopes the book would be of use to you. Uh, but this is her son's story, mm. right? Is it really okay to give the book to us? Don't worry, it's just a copy. She still has the original. It's extremely important to her. All right, then there's no problem. <sighs> it feels good knowing we've contributed to something important. Paimon definitely didn't expect the fantasy adventure to be so useful. Mm. Paimon was a little worried about how everything would turn out. After all, fantasy is just fantasy. Paimon, do you know what the Madame said? She said... That at the moment when she placed the crown on Thelxie's head, she felt like she really saw something beautiful. Her child had returned, and he told her that he loved her. She also said that was when she was finally able to bid farewell to her son. She felt like at that moment, she was healed by some mystical power. And she was filled with courage from head to toe. Oh, really? Oh, man. But could that just be another part of her fantasy? Perhaps. But if fantasy is just fantasy, and the fantasy world is not real, then how could it still grant us these powers that we can continue to use in the real world? So perhaps fantasy is not just fantasy after all. A descent of the fairy tale world into the real world. At that time, the wondrous fairy tale temporarily became reality and influenced real things in our world. That has to be what happened. You saw it too, didn't you? But that 
can't be what happened, right? There's just no way. Wouldn't it be like a miracle if that really happened? Yes. I suppose that would be a miracle. I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful and experience a miracle for themselves. Hmm. Hmm. Complete. Ah, oh, guys. Beautifully told. Beautifully told. Isn't it crazy? I mean, on a much lesser level, think about the things that we love, the fantasies that we... dive into, that we consume ourselves with, the games we play, the fantasies we involve ourselves in, and how they influence us in the real world. Obviously, this is dealing with a very particular form of grief and loss and a coping um, solution to figure out how to navigate living in the real world after losing your son and your husband. But even just taking the moral of the story at the face value and what he kind of says there, the miracles of fantasies and what they do to us, I was so happy... It was, like, I got to tell this type of event. Man, it's making me well up right now. Holy cow. If you've ever experienced depression or grief of any kind, loss, it can be impossible to figure out how to navigate that type of life experience. And what can you do? It's different for everybody. And some people really lose themselves in this reality. And a fantasy reality might be the only way to exist at that point. And if that's what helps somebody move forward, to each their own, right? And that's the beauty of the fantasy. It's no less a reality than the physical reality we tangibly exist in, if it truly affects you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this this event. Okay, I know it was kind of short and sweet, but um, heartbreaking, heart wrenching. Yeah, I've lost friends. It's easy to fix a machine when you know how it's built and how it works, but people—they're much more difficult. I've lost friends, I've lost family, I've lost a parent, and when I lost my dad, it was like I wound up playing Final Fantasy XI, and the friendships and the reality of that game helped me through so much of that, and Genshin, for that matter. It's, uh... I'm really glad they decided to do this story, and for me personally, I'm glad the character I get to voice was a part of something so meaningful, and so real, and not really all, despite it being about fantasy, not that far-fetched. Um, so thank you guys for watching this with me. Thank you for watching this if you're watching it on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed Fremenet and learning more about him and this very heartbreaking story. Um... I want to spend some time at the bottom of the sea, in peace and total silence. It's been one of my favorite, and what a way to end it. Thank you guys. Um, more videos to come, and I uh, appreciate you experiencing this event with me, whether via the Twitch stream or uh, watching it here on YouTube. Um, my only, my only regret is that some people won't be able to experience it firsthand themselves because it's a timed event, right? So, that's why we got it here on YouTube for you. So much love to you guys. Hugs and kisses all around. Um, yeah. Thank you guys. Appreciate you.